All right, let's take a few minutes this morning to talk about numbering systems. What is a numbering system? A numbering system is nothing more than how we count. So let's write it correctly first. A number system how we count. Now obviously your mathematics professors will have a lot to say about that. It's oversimplified, uh, childish, whatever, but basically to us a numbering system is how we count. We count in the decimal system. So for, this few, for the next few minutes we're going to talk about the decimal numbering system. What makes it a decimal system? Decimal comes from the Latin or the Greek or one of those old dead languages meaning ten. We have ten digits that we use. We can use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We can use ten single digits before we have to go to the next position. Okay, what does that mean by going to the next position? Let's take a number like 8,642. How do we know to say 8,642? That's where the numbering system comes in. To be able to say 8,642, each one of those numbers must have a positional value. So let's look at the positional values in the decimal table. We had four digits. Okay, the lowest order position had a value of 1, right? 8,642. I had two ones in this position. When I say the 40 part, that means I have four tens. So this positional value would be 10. 600. When I say the 600, I know I have a 100 in that position. And when I say 8,000, I know I have a thousand in that position. This could continue on. If I added a one to this number, I'd now say 18,000, which really means 10,000 plus the 8,000. So my next position over would be 10,000. Notice the progression. Each one is 10 times higher than the one before it. So now we got to get into a little bit of math. Just a little, I'm not going to go too deep. We're going to get into exponents. This is how we can describe it. 10 to the 0 power equals 1. This is that position. 10 to the first power equals 10 times 1. 10. 10 to the second power equals 10 times 10 times 1 equals 100. Okay, so that's the 100 position. 10 to the third power equals 10 times 10 times 10 times 1 equals 1,000. And so on, and so on, and so on. When we get to 10 to the 8th power, which would be several positions over, we're multiplying 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Man, I'm getting confused there, but you get the point. Eight tens. We multiply them together to get the bit position or the positional value of that particular number. Okay? So this is how we count in decimal. 